Hi there, welcome back to the ERS FEC video training series. In this video, we're going to cover adding and editing your inventory items. So let's start by going to Admin, Products, Items. So we'll start by clicking Add New. So just like with categories, there are many, many fields we could enter data into here. But the main things we really need to concern ourselves with now are name, type, cost, quantity, picture, and category. In the last video, I made a category for axe throwing. I'm going to go ahead and add my axe throwing lanes to that category now. The name is going to populate to the web page for the item, just like it does for categories, and we'll get a chance to see that in just a minute here. Now let's not worry about special display name for now. Let's go ahead and specify an item type. Now this particular item is going to be a regular item. We are going to discuss packages later in this tutorial, but shared should never be checked. The ERS FEC system allows you to share inventory with other companies that are using ERS as well. So if an item, package, and or category are being shared between your company and another, shared will populate here automatically. To learn more about product sharing, please reach out to the tech support department. Alright, so again, we're going with regular on this one. And the cost is just the base cost for the item. If there are factors that affect the price of an item, for example, if someone would like to add an extra hour onto their birthday party, or we want to charge a little bit more for our parties on the weekends, or anything like that, the ERS FEC system does support that with price rules, add-ons, and various other functions in the system. We'll cover all that in the advanced inventory video. Quantity is the number of the item that we have available. So for example here, we're going to say I have four axe throwing lanes. Let's not worry about reduced quantity by date. We'll go ahead and cover that in a subsequent video. But let's go ahead and add a picture. And now let's go ahead and choose a category. This is very important. If you don't choose a category, the item will not show up on your website. Secondary category allows us to put items in more than one category. For example, later in this video, we'll create an axe throwing birthday party package. And when we do that, we can put it in the party packages category and also the axe throwing category. We'll cover secondary categories more thoroughly in the advanced inventory video. So now that we've got the basic information input, we can go ahead and click submit. And we can see the item in our list of items in the back end. And if we open up our live website and click into that category, we can see the item in there as well. And if we click into the item, we can see that the ERS FEC system, just as with categories, uses the name of the item to create the page path, which again is good for your SEO. All right, so let's go ahead and create an axe throwing party package. I'm going to make it easy on myself by copying the basic party package to start with. So first I'm going to update the name. The item is already specified as a package. I'm going to update the cost. And now let's update the contents. The contents of a package tells the ERS FEC system to reserve those items for the customer and pull them from availability. So let's say our axe throwing parties are going to start with the party room and then go on to the axe throwing, followed by unlimited gaming in the game room with a $15 game card for the guest of honor. Now we need to specify a quantity so the system knows how many of the items to pull from availability, and we should specify a time offset and a duration for the axe throwing. Time offset tells the system to wait before pulling that item from availability, and duration tells the system how long to pull the item from availability. So I'm going to go ahead and set the axe throwing at an hour of time offset and a duration of 20 minutes. So for example, if a customer reserves an axe throwing party package for 10 o'clock, they'll start with the party room at exactly 10 o'clock because the time offset is set at zero, and they'll be there for an hour because the duration is set at an hour. So then at 11 o'clock, because the time offset is set at an hour for the axe throwing, the customers will do their axe throwing, which will last 20 minutes because the duration is set at 20 minutes. Now because a game card is more of a retail or sales item, we don't need to specify a time offset or duration for that. Now let's go ahead and change the picture. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to update the description, but I will do that later. And because we started creating this item by copying the basic party package, it's already in the party packages category, so I'm going to leave that as is. But I am going to also add it to the axe throwing category, so I'm going to do that with secondary categories. Now as we see, we can add it to other categories if we like. There's no limit to how many we can do that with. Alright, now that we've got the basic information complete, let's go ahead and submit. And once again, we see our newly created item in the back end, and also on the website. All right, let's talk a bit about hidden items. You don't want every single thing that you have to show up on your website. 
For example, your pizza toppings. You might want to have pizza toppings available to add to pizzas, but you don't want the toppings to have their own web pages. So that sort of thing would be a hidden item. We've already got birthday party bags in here as an item. I'm thinking let's add some themed ones, and there'll be hidden items that we can add to the contents of our themed parties. So again, the fastest way is to just copy birthday party bags. And by the way, this item is a good demonstration of special display name. We'll talk further about special display name in the advanced inventory video, but basically if you specify a special display name, that's what will show up during the ordering process and on the receipt, rather than the actual item name. So again, first thing to do is to update the name, and I'm going to change the cost to zero, because I don't intend to sell this as a standalone item. I'm just going to throw it in as part of the axe throwing party packages. Now for items that are sales or retail oriented, like these party bags, the ERS system can count down your inventory as you sell those items. And we'll cover that in our advanced inventory video. Now at this point, the name and the cost are the only things I'm going to change here. I'm not even going to update the picture here. The reason why is I'm going to create several of these party bag items, and I'm going to go ahead and update the pictures all at once. And there's a quick way to do that that I'll show you in a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. And I'm going to go ahead and copy it two more times and create the other party bags. All right, now that we've got all of our party bags created, I'm going to go ahead and update the pictures. And I'm also noticing that I forgot to update the category. But first, this screen feels a little bit cluttered to me, and I don't really need all of this information right now. So I am going to click on Customize. And then I am going to uncheck the items that I don't want to look at right now. Okay, so that's a little bit more manageable. And keep in mind that you can do that anywhere in the system. Now earlier I mentioned that there's a quick way to make mass edits, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We are going to go into spreadsheet mode. Now I'm not seeing the items I'm looking for at a glance here, and I could scroll through to find them, which wouldn't be too bad, but actually the fastest way to find the items that I'm looking for is to actually do a search. So as we can see, that narrowed things down quite a bit. So the cool thing about spreadsheet mode is it enables us to make edits right here from this screen without having to click into the item. So I'm going to click here to edit the picture for the axe throwing party bags. And I'm going to go ahead and update the pictures for the other two kinds of bags we made as well. And I'm also going to update the category in here. All right, so now that I've gotten that complete, I'm going to exit the search. And before we wrap this video up, I'm going to show you one last trick. We can click on any of these headings to reorder the items under that heading alphabetically. This can be helpful if, for example, you want to look at all of the items in a given category, and you want to look at them together. All right, that's going to do it for this tutorial. The next video will be about documents. Remember, anytime you have questions, you can always go into the Knowledge Base under the Help tab. And of course, you can always reach out to the Tech Support Department at 505-435-9731 extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.